Good evening, Pugilist Fanatics. It's Myron Magnus in another segment of Boxing Logics United. Peace and pugilism. The rematch is here. Katie Taylor versus Delphine Persoon. Ireland versus Belgium. I've been looking forward to this match. I definitely been looking forward to this match because the first match was quite exciting. Quite exciting for a women's bout. I must say, I perhaps became a fan of women boxing after watching that match. True indeed. Let's weigh strengths and weaknesses of these two women. Technique, Katie Taylor, by far. Footwork, Katie Taylor, by far. Speed, Katie Taylor, by far. Power, even. Punch selection, Katie Taylor, by far. Everything across the board, Katie Taylor is by far superior than Delphine Pursun is in every category. But the one thing Delphine Pursun has that will perhaps give her a chance in every fight she gets into is relentlessness. Is that gas tank, her persistence, her dog. Katie Taylor is vastly superior than Delphine Persoon in everything you can name when it comes to the sweet science. But Delphine Persoon is going to make it ugly. She's not going to grab. She's just going to keep coming. And that is what we saw in the first fight. We saw Katie Taylor, sniper, precision, check hooks, straight rights down the middle. But we saw Delphine Persoon wear her down with the continuous and relentless pressure. When I watched that fight first time around, I had her soon winning that fight. On second look, I gave it to Katie Taylor. Just by clear punches landed. I can't give her ring generalship because Delphine Pursoon pretty much took it to Katie Taylor every chance, every minute, she kept coming forward, which was making Katie Taylor move backwards. So I have to give the ring generalship, believe it or not, to Delphine Persoon. She turned it into a scrap. And that was the only way she would have a chance at beating Katie Taylor, was making Kelly Taylor stand toe to toe and go blow for blow with her. And that, towards the end of the fight, the last three rounds, once Kelly Taylor couldn't evade her anymore because she was drained and fatigued, which we all could see, it played more into Delphine Persoon's hands. If the second fight is to go like the first one did, it's going to be nail biter. But I expect Katie Taylor to do what? Stick and move. Stick and move. I expect her to have more in the gas tank. And I expect her to win this going away. 